All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas death is something that's seen as usually like a, a pretty serious topic right like you don't typically go around making a whole lot of dying jokes and people just think it's hilarious I mean I guess I can understand you know if you're trying to be an edgelord you're hanging out with your homies and you want to make a joke here or there you know I, I can understand that bro I get that however like I wouldn't go into a job interview and make a couple 9-11 jokes and the guy on the opposite side of the counter he's probably not going Going to think it's that funny anyways today we're gonna be learning about the time that a dude bought a cigarette for a dollar he then decided to steal that dollar back and he ended up getting brutally murdered over it. anyways this article is brought to us by Larry Wallace you know shout out Larry and Matthew Miller now guys without wasting any more goddamn time let's get into the video here Corey Dalton went to Marissa Gilbert's apartment just three days before he died. He was there so often that he usually didn't need to knock, he just walked right in. However, that day he decided to buy a cigarette from her for a dollar according to the testimony given by Lansing police. But when Gilbert found out he'd taken the dollar from her daughter's bedroom, she got upset. Police say that the chain of events that started with a stolen dollar ended the early morning hours of May 5th. When officers found Dalton burned outside of a townhome in this area, he was pronounced dead later that day. Whenever the girls found him, they forced him into a car and brought him back to Gilbert's apartment. They beat him until he bled, stomped on his head, broke a lamp over him, and hit him with a fucking belt. Jeez. It then appears that one of the women was willing to let him go as long as he promised not to turn her into the police, and well, I guess he decided not to answer, which then she responded with, well, you're just gonna have to die. Cook told police Gilbert also believed that Dalton may have had something to do with the death of one of her friends. He had been dating the woman at the time that she was found dead in a wooded area near Gilbert's apartment. Alright fellas, I just want to take a quick little break. We just found out two very important pieces of information. First off, it appears that Dalton wasn't actually killed because he stole a dollar from her daughter, right? Like, yeah, that may have been the thing that really pushed her over the edge. So now we know the real motive behind the story here but more importantly okay guys the second thing I want to point out here is that she thinks again she fucking thinks that he killed her friend now obviously I've never been in this situation but bro I'm just fucking saying man if I'm gonna go out of my way to do something that could end me up in prison for the rest of my life I'm gonna need a little bit more evidence than like I think he did something you know I'm gonna need some goddamn factual information at that point now I get it right like revenge is just simply hardwired into a human's brain I mean we all seen those couples in high school where like a girl would cheat on the guy and the guy would still accept her but then he'd cheat on her with two girls and then she'd cheat on him with three guys and like it just it, it never ends right it's a never-ending uh, situation of revenge and I'm not even saying that Dalton's innocent, right? Because, I mean, I don't fucking know that information. Apparently, she doesn't either if she thinks he did it. Anyways, after they got him back to her apartment, they then decided to pour bleach down his throat, stab him, and push him down the fucking stairs. Apparently, Dalton tried to fight for his life, but it just simply wasn't enough. They meant to take his body to some nearby woods, but Cook told police she got tired? Bitch, what? How the fuck do you get tired after you kill someone? I mean, you know what, bro? Like, I'm fucking glad that she's a lazy sack of shit because now that, that just made it that much easier to catch her ass, you know? But anyways, I guess they decided to burn the apartment with Dalton's body inside of it. And then police got an anonymous tip that Gilbert had killed someone with another woman's help. And the police were also able to find some photos of Dalton that were obviously uh, pretty inhumane. You know, dude, I gotta say that obviously the part of him like buying a cigarette for a dollar and then stealing his dollar back, like, it's just kind of funny. You know, it's kind of meme -y. But other than that, this entire story is just like royally fucked up, man. Especially because this seems more of a betrayal than anything because the article even states that he knew the girls well enough that he wouldn't even knock when he came to the apartment he would just walk right in I saw a quote the other day and it said the worst part about betrayal is that it's never done by your enemies and I gotta say dude that shit fucking sticks here either way I'm glad that these fucking bitches got caught because they definitely deserve everything they're gonna get handed in life 
it appears that they're being pretty open. Like, I, I don't know if they've accepted their fate at this point, or maybe they're proud of what they did. But either way, like, they are pretty open and pretty vulgar with all the details that they are telling the police in the article. I know that I normally tell a lot of jokes here on the channel, but I, I don't know, man. I don't feel like this is the video to tell a lot of jokes in, you know? But guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like if you enjoy the content. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas we're gonna be talking about goddess amaranth all right i hope that most of you have at least heard of her before if you haven't though basically she's best known for showing her cleavage on that oh my god what's the name of that one gaming website oh yeah twitch Amaranth is essentially Twitch's number one titty streamer. Just to give you guys an idea of how big her channel actually is, all right? Moist Critical has 2.7 million followers and Amaranth has 2.8. So in terms of the size of her channel and the views that she gets, she's within the top 0.1% on the website. Anyways, just to give you guys a little summary of what happened here, Twitch decided to remove ads from her channel entirely. And some of you are sitting there right now like, oh my God, Doc. Oh my God, how is Goddess going to make her money back? How is she going to pay her bills? Well, Jimmy, if you just shut the fuck up, I could actually get to my point here, all right? Fellas, I've seen a couple other creators make videos on this subject, but they, they seem to be leaving out one very important aspect of this whole scenario here. But I'll touch on that in a minute, fellas, all right? First, I want to hear what Goddess Amaranth had to say for herself here. She says, Yesterday, I was informed that Twitch has indefinitely suspended advertising on my channel. Twitch didn't reach out in any way whatsoever. I had to initiate the conversation after noticing. Without any prior warning, all the ad revenue had disappeared from my channel analytics. This is an alarming precedent and serves as a stark warning that although content may not unstinently break community guidelines or terms of service, Twitch has complete discretion to target individual channels and partially or wholly demonetize them. For content that is deemed not advertiser friendly, something that there is no communicated guideline for. This leaves open-ended question of where the line is drawn. Many people complain about TOS being unclear, but at least there's something to go by. There is no known policy for what results in a streamer being put on this blacklist. With characteristic opacity, the only thing Twitch made clear is that it is unclear whether or when my account can be reinstated. Alright, after reading that, fellas, I'm not gonna lie, it is kinda fucked up that one day Twitch was just like, you know what, fuck this bitch, she's not gonna get ads anymore. I can totally see where she's coming from in terms of, like, there needs to be written rules of what is deemed advertiser-friendly and what is not. Now, for those of you that don't know, ads on Twitch are literally not worth a goddamn shit. Ads on YouTube are targeted, so these advertisers, they can reach certain demographics. Like, for instance, you're probably not going to get a lot of makeup advertisements on my channel here. But if you're a female watching a content creator like Jenna Marbles, you know, it makes sense for you to get a makeup advertisement. Twitch ads are not targeted, so they don't fucking pay shit, bro, alright? I've been on Twitch for almost a year, and I think I've maybe made like $20 from advertisements on my channel. With that being said, fellas, I really don't agree with the way Twitch which is handling this situation. However, Amaranth still has 21,000 subscribers. Again, 21,000 goddamn subscribers, man. Fellas, I'm just a doctor, all right? I'm no mathematician, but let's do a little bit of simple math here. A Twitch partner makes $3.50 a sub, so we will multiply 21,770 times $3.50 and Oh my god! Holy fuck, bro. Amaranth is bringing in a cool $76,000. Bro, I, I fucking, I can't with this shit anymore, man. I can't do this shit. I can't take it no more. Guys, Amaranth is making $76,000 this month from subscriptions alone. $76,000 is what most full-grown adults make in a year. And this ain't even including fucking bits and regular donations. I mean, look up there in the top left-hand corner. We have the biggest goddamn dick on the screen with a donation of $70.
Why don't you just shove a goddamn stick up my ass and call me a fucking corn dog? I would clean the goddamn skid marks off of the back of LeBron James' toilet with my fucking tongue for $76,000 a month! I mean, bro, like, after taxes, Amaranth is easily bringing in a million dollars a year. If you're including her subscriptions, her bits, her donations, her YouTube revenue. I mean, dude, like, we have people that drive cars like this. You know, they fucking work, like, 80-plus hours a week. They live in a goddamn shithole. They can barely put fucking groceries on the table. They're living a very shitty, stressful life just trying to live paycheck to paycheck. And here we have a millionaire who sits in her fucking house all day in a bikini, making a couple million dollars a year, and that's complaining on losing out on a couple thousand dollars a month. I mean, I get it, bro. I get it, okay? Money's money. However, like, how fucking greedy are you actually gonna be, you know? I mean, I get that it sucks to lose ad revenue on your channel, especially just out of nowhere. However, we saw someone like 8 Thoughts where his only form of revenue in the entire household was through YouTube. And YouTube just straight up didn't give a goddamn fuck. They took that man straight off the fucking face of the internet. Like, at least that didn't happen in this situation here, you know? At least you have your fucking channel, you have your subs, you have your donations, you still have a way to make money at the end of the day, and by no means necessary are you, uh, hurting. With that being said, though, I really think Twitch needs to make a bigger decision here. In my opinion, it's not fair that you're gonna remove her ad revenue whenever you still have all of these other titty streamers out there that are still able to profit off of ads. And honestly, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Amaranth actually made a pretty good point. There's no TOS on this anywhere. There's no written rules on what is considered advertiser friendly and what is not. If you're gonna demonetize one titty streamer, in my opinion, they, they all need to be demonetized. Or it could even be the other way around, right? Like either they all need to be monetized or they all need to be unmonetized. Either way, I, I just, I want it to be a fair decision for all of them. Either way though, Amaranth, like you may be a fucking goddess, all right? But you're still a goddamn hoe, bitch. Hey man, that's my goddess you're talking about. And I really don't appreciate the way you're talking about her. You know what? You lazy son of a- the fuck you say to me, you little shit? Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Well, guys, I just got done editing this video, and it appears that I am about 15 seconds short of 8 minutes. So what I actually did is I got my goddamn manager on the phone, and I'm like, Hey, bro, is this going to be acceptable or not? And he said, Hell no, you need to stretch it till 8 minutes. You need to make sure you get enough money to fuck a hot milf tonight. And that's actually it. So, um, anyways, I appreciate you guys letting me waste your time. Also, if you made it this far in the video, you're a fucking OG, and I, I swear to God, I'd kiss you on the fucking mouth. Alright, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, we're gonna be learning a lesson about why you shouldn't donate your entire paycheck to some dumb thought on the internet. I know this may sound like common sense to most of you watching this right now, but there's also a lot of very dumb individuals out there in the world, and it just actually hurts me how stupid they are. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Sometimes I wake up, I log onto my Twitter account, and I just see some stuff that's, like, unbelievably stupid, and I try really, really hard not to kill myself because it's, <laughs> it's that goddamn bad. But before we get into the video, guys, it's Sunday for crying out loud. That means it's time to crown this week's green penis. Now, this is actually going to be a very special episode because I'm not giving out one green peen. I'm not giving out two green peens. I'm giving out three goddamn green dicks today, fellas. And this week's first green penis is gonna be going out to Easy Swish Sniper. You've probably seen his videos before. He is best known for shitting on feminists. 
Anyways, he personally asked me if he could earn green penis this week, and I told him yes. So, anyways, congratulations to you, Swish. You are this week's green penis. Now, the other two green dicks from this week actually are coming from my Twitch channel. And if you're not following me on Twitch, like, you're simply just wasting your fucking life at this point. But anyways, we have two true who says, I want to eat Mari's dry discharge straight off or use panties. I want it to crunch like I'm eating Pringles. Jesus Christ, Too True. I don't even know what the fuck to say to this man. Anyways, congratulations, Too True. You are another green penis this week. And guys, for our final green dick of the goddamn day, we have BV himself who says, I would fling my dick out and run through a room full of lesbians, then spend 16 days in the Amazon rainforest, booty ass naked with nothing but six bottles of water and a backpack and a kitchen knife. Then I'd fight a tiger, a mountain lion, a bear, and a hippo all at once. And after that, I would pour a glass full of lemonade, lime juice, and vinegar on my balls just to get a whiff of Bolo's gaming chair. Holy fuck, bro. That is so goddamn intense. And you know what, BV? If you actually follow through and do all that, I'll even rip a raunchy one right in this goddamn seat before you sniff it. Anyways, congratulations to you, BV. You are this week's green penis. Now, I know some of you might be sitting in chat right now like, God damn, man, how do I earn a green penis? How come I'm not a green penis this week? Well, my friend, I have good news. It is actually really easy to earn this prestigious once-in-a-lifetime award. All you have to do is leave a funny comment down in the comment section, and maybe, just maybe, next week, I'll pick you to be a green dick. Now, guys, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into the video. So the other day, fellas, I got done checking out this fucking smelly vagina, and when I was waiting for my other patient to come in the room, uh, I happened to stumble upon this tweet, and it says, I hate when broke men approach me. What am I supposed to do with $20? Fill up half the gas tank? After reading that, I really hope most of you watching this video right now can decipher that that's just a fucking bait tweet by a dumbass bitch. Bait tweets by women, they only have two purposes, right? Number one is to overinflate their ego, which she clearly fucking has already, and number two is to get her interactions up. And unfortunately, fellas, we lost another homie to the bait tweet. You know who you are, alright? If somehow, some way, you see this video, fucking hold this goddamn L, bitch. You're a fucking pussy. Anyways, he decides to clap back at goddess which mistake number one he says why would i even pay twenty dollars when i can wank off my little meat for seven dollars on your only fans in parentheses i am subscribed this is actually a bigger l than i fucking predicted imagine telling goddess that you wank off your little meat the little meat man what the fuck who even says that like you think you're being so smart whenever you say oh yeah well i get to wink off my little meat to your only fans for seven dollars i don't know what else to say other than you should have just fucking stopped while you were ahead like literally i don't know how the fuck you could write that tweet out and be like oh yeah she's gonna fucking love this because then she's just gonna lay a goddamn super suplex on your ass she says you literally just admitted to being a bare minimum penny pincher on the timeline honestly dude I, I can't believe i'm actually about to agree with this chlamydia infected pussy here but like what the fuck were you trying to accomplish with this tweet like imagine sitting there writing this shit being like oh yeah she's gonna think this is fucking fire she's gonna want to suck the cum right out of my sack whenever i post this on her feed again bro like this is some shit that maybe you think it right like you think it in your head but you leave this shit in the drafts. Like, you don't ever actually hit post whenever you write this shit out. Because now, instead of looking like a dumbass, now you look like a dumbass and a retard. Especially whenever you have Princess, who says, yikes, and Goddess, who says, he thinks he's being slick. His page screams, broke student will do homework for sessions. Yikes, bro. Yikes. Anyways, there's red flag number two. Bro, you, you should have just fucking stopped. But for whatever reason, you and your little goddamn tiny cock just couldn't hold back. So then you try to say, I don't care as long as I'm wanking off my meat. Stop fucking saying wanking off my meat. Whenever you say that you're wanking off your meat, it just sounds like you want to take a shower with children. Bro, fucking shut up. But anyways, he says, why would I pay $100 to wank 
when you can pay $7 for that. Whenever I read that last tweet, I so badly just wanted to say, SHUT THE FUCK UP, MAN! God, you sound like a fucking wannabe Discord mod virgin! And I guess one thing I never took into consideration here is that maybe he's actually a real cuck. He seems like the type of dude to find it enjoyable whenever girls point and laugh at his tiny little wanking penis. Anyways, after all this went down, I really thought that this dude was just gonna tell Goddess to fuck off, go kick rocks, go swallow some semen, you fucking whore, you know, something along those lines. And well, I, I guess he had a better idea. So then he decided he wanted to flex his cryptocurrency account on her. He says, yes, with a sad face, very much broke. Please give me some charity so I can double it from crypto trading. And then he tries posting these screenshots of his crypto accounts like, bro, my fucking God. Like, honestly, I think if your own mom would have watched you take a dick in the ass and a dick in a mouth at the same time, it would be less of an L than what we are witnessing right here. I mean, this man's not even down bad at this point. He's down fucking catastrophic. Are you guys familiar with Skippy from TLC? He's like a 40 year old virgin and he's really proud of it. I gotta say, Skippy sounds like less of a virgin than this fuck an idiot right here. Like, honest to God, dude, I can't think of a bigger L than trying to flex your cryptocurrency account to a girl who sells pictures of her goddamn used asshole on the internet. I mean, it's almost like saying the only problem with the WNBA is that you're not watching it. Like, oh, yeah, okay, Nike, yeah, sure. Whatever you say, you fucking idiot. Anyways, all I can say about this situation, fellas, is that I really hope my son comes home and tells me that he's proud of sucking so many dicks rather than acting like this fucking simp virgin incel on the internet. Like, I mean, it's one thing to get roasted on the internet, right? Like, we've all been there. But it's a whole nother story to get roasted by your own fucking goddess, which you are paying every fucking month. Anyways, I gotta stop, dude. My, my fucking head hurts so goddamn bad from this. Guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy the content. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, have you guys ever been caught lacking in public? Like, let's say for instance, you're at Walmart one day, and you got a big old honking boogie up in your nose. In order to get rid of that booger, you know, your options are, are fairly limited in a Walmart environment. Like, do you blow a snot rocket towards the back of the shelf and just hopes that no one sees it? Do you pick your nose and, you know, maybe find a safe space to wipe it on? Or do you be a responsible human, go to the bathroom, you know, blow your noise on some tissue paper or whatever, and discard of it properly? If you said option number three, get the f*** out of here! Alright, alright, I'm just kidding, fellas. Please stay on the video. I'm begging you. I need all the money I can get so that way I can support the MILFs and you yourself can support the mills by dropping a fat like on this video. I must say that the TikTok I'm about to show you guys is probably one of the most interesting things I think I've ever seen in my lifetime, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna exaggerate here. This is truly life-changing, and without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into the video. Oh my god, dude, she is practically fingering her asshole in a Best Buy right now. 
Her finger was so far in that crack, it's it's not even funny, dude. I like how she inspected it afterwards to make sure there's no fucking poo on her hands. Alright, I was wondering what the backpack's for. I guess she keeps, like, toilet paper inside it? Jesus, dude, she is, like, straight. She ain't fucking around today, bro. Have you guys ever taken a shit and, you know, you just do, like, a quick little one-wiper and you're like, okay, yeah, I think, I, I think I'm good down there. And then you go back to doing whatever you were doing and you kind of get that, like, queasy feeling in between your butt cheeks. And you don't necessarily need to go drop a deuce in the toilet, but you're also like, uh, I, I could really use a re-wipe right about now. That is essentially, <laughs> that is literally what we just fucking witnessed, bro. But rather than, uh, you know, being a normal person and going to the bathroom to wipe your fucking ass crack again, especially your dirty ass crack, she just brings toilet paper with her on the go, and I, I I guess one, she drops it on the fucking ground for someone else to pick up, but also she just straight up wipes that ass again in public, man. This bitch don't give no fucks today. And also, guys, next time you're in a public phone store, you're like picking up phones and cameras and stuff, I want you to remember this particular situation right now. That phone you have in your hand, it very well might just have some fucking poo particles on it. You know, Dr. Bolo, the only shit I see is you because you are a piece of shit. This woman clearly has problems, and rather than being mean about it, you should be nice and helpful instead, you fucking poo-poo head. You know, Unicorn, like, that, that's fucking great and all, but honestly, I, I don't remember ever fucking asking, you stupid son of a goddamn bitch! Oh, fucking unicorn, man. One of these days, dude, I swear to God, I'm gonna get the Green Peen Congress together, and I'm gonna get them to sign off on my nuke plans, and I'm just gonna straight up be the modern-day Harry S. Truman, and I'm just gonna nuke the fuck out of these goddamn unicorns. You know, guys, I feel like that really might be one of the most informative videos I will ever see in my lifetime. I had always wondered when a land whale takes a shit, how does she get her flippers back there to wipe her ass crack? I have now figured it out. I also learned that whenever there's a bitch with a goddamn Paw Patrol backpack in a public store, it's best to just not go over in that same vicinity as her because she's going to leak the air around the fucking turds inside her intestines. That air is coming straight out of her anus and that's gonna pollute the fucking air inside of a Best Buy. Save your wife, save your kids, save your fucking grandchildren. Get the hell away from that bitch. Even though she didn't do anything that slutty, you've been prescribed the hoe, bitch! Alright, in all seriousness though, dude, I don't know how you can be worried about the coronavirus when shit like this, and I, I quite mean literal shit, like this exists. I mean, dude, I get that there's like people out there, they got medical issues. I mean, hell, maybe her fucking asshole sphincter isn't working anymore, and that's why she carries toilet paper around with her. But like, are, are you really just gonna wipe in the middle of an aisle? I mean, at, at the very least, look up and like, you know, get an idea of where the fucking cameras are in the store. But still, you know, like, common courtesy, like, uh, the right thing to do here, go to the goddamn bathroom and wipe your smelly fucking hole. And also, oh, wait, shit, is, is that my, is that my dad returning from the grocery? No, that's my dad, man. Motherfucker's fucked up, OG. Man, that's fucked up. I, 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 I be fucked up if that was my daddy, you hear me? <laughs> Motherfucker. Man. He would have been charged with that, too. Oh, for real, huh? Yeah, that's fucked up, man. What the fuck are you smoking? On me, on that shit? Yeah, I'm, I'm pointing over here. I'm pointing your baby on top, and he's steady going and shit like, damn, man. These niggas oh, that's a newborn. Up. How can you forget shit like on that? On me. Niggas you know, dude, at first I honestly thought this was just like another shitty prank video. But then after thinking about it, that father got out of the car and was way too calm for a situation like this. He literally almost killed a fucking infant and he just gets out of the car and says, appreciate it. 
Holy hell, bro. Maybe it's best my dad just stays at the grocery store, you know? I mean, could you guys just imagine if the mother of this child ever saw this video? My god, she'd fucking drop dead right there on the spot. I mean, I don't want to sit here and act like I'm perfect, even though I, I practically am. But, you know, like, just some common sense might say, rather than putting the kid on top of the car, maybe we either put him in the car first, or we set him on the ground right next to the vehicle. You know what, dude? Maybe I'm the fucking idiot in this situation. For all I know, the kid could have been hot, and the dad was just trying to put him on top of the car, you know, he'd get a little bit more air up there and cool them off a little bit faster what the fuck do i possibly know nowadays i guess there is one thing that i know and that's if i'm gonna finger my asshole i'll at least do it in the bathroom not in the best buy aisle but anyways guys that's it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today but more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs and i will catch you guys next time later Alright, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to another video today. Fellas, challenges are something that's been around since the beginning of time. However, with the rise of apps such as TikTok, we've seen people completely throw out their human morals just for a little bit of clout on the internet. For example, whenever I was in high school, we had what's called the cinnamon challenge. Basically, you'd take a spoonful of powdered cinnamon, stick it in your mouth, and try and swallow all the cinnamon without taking a drink. Doing the cinnamon challenge was honestly just meant to be like a little harmless prank. However, with the introduction of TikTok, we have people that are dancing on each other's gravestones. You have dudes named Jimmy out here drinking as much bleach as they can before their stomachs implode. And you have 12 year old girls named Brittany showing off their ass by doing the bus it challenge. All for what? Just a couple views on TikTok? I'm not even kidding when I say this dude. The other day I saw this new challenge called eyeballing and basically you just try to pour as much alcohol into your eye sockets before you go blind and honestly dude it's like all for what what do you possibly get from going painfully blind anyways i'm getting off topic today i want to talk about the pickle rick challenge now this isn't something that is super viral at the moment however i could easily see this becoming the next big thing like within a month I apologize if there's any Rick and Morty nerds out there. I'm, I've never personally seen the show, all right? But basically, the challenge consists of you walking into your local McDonald's, asking if they have any Shishesuan sauce. Obviously, they're going to say no. And then you scream in the cashier's face, Love a dub a dub bub! And then you roll on the ground like a fucking lunatic and just yell some random slurs. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, bro. That's the challenge right there. I will say it looks fairly harmless. However, you know that there is some fucking buffoon out there that's just going to take things way too far. Like, we all know that there is some lunatic out there that's just begging to dunk his balls in the frying machine at McDonald's. And this is his one way in, bro. This is how he's going to get it done. And without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into the video, fellas. I gotta say, there's nothing like pranking some dumbass high schooler who's just trying to make a little bit of extra money. Clearly, this poor guy right here hates his job, and he probably hates his life as well. I mean, the dude's making like $8 an hour in a shitty work environment, getting yelled at by his manager, and now he has to deal with these idiots walking into McDonald's yelling, Wubba dubba dub dub! I want my suggestion you want sauce, man! If it were me in this situation, I honestly think I'd just throw my hat on the ground and tell my douchebag manager George to go fuck himself. Anyways, I guess let's find out how funny the Pickle Rick challenge actually is. Did, did, you, did you guys see that guy? Yeah, I got the whole Video. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Wow. Now I gotta say, bro, that this man right here takes his Pickle Rick challenges very, very seriously. I mean, I gotta give it to him. I guess he at least had the balls to jump up there on the counter and just wipe his shit-stained shoes all over it where everyone's food is about to be served. 
I'm not gonna lie though, dude. I just personally think this challenge is really fucking dumb. It's just literally not funny whatsoever. And all you're doing is like scaring the fucking children around you. And I also really like how at the end of the video, the cameraman tries to play it off. Like he definitely wasn't set up there and recording for a moment like this to take place. You know, he goes over to these guys after the video and he's like, damn bro, did you see what just happened right there? Now let's take a look at our second contestant. <laughs> damn damn bro that was good that was a good one honestly dude just imagine being a woman and going through the pains of being pregnant for nine months carrying another human inside of you going through the pains of labor just to get this child out of your vagina all for it to grow up and put a fucking pickle costume on and roll around on the ground at McDonald's. What a massive fucking L that is, my friend. Although the first guy made everyone uncomfortable around him, I gotta give it to him, at least he did like a fairly decent job. This guy right here though, it looks like he just fucking lost a bet with his homies and they made him wear a pickle costume into fucking McDonald's. I mean, overall, dude, this video was just fucking terrible from the get-go. I can't believe, one, you decided to actually go into McDonald's and do this, and more importantly, I can't believe you decided to upload this on the internet. But anyways, let's hope that our third and final contestant does a good job. Alright bro, why does this guy look like he's about to sell me some fire car insurance, and at the same time, he knows every fishing spot around town? Honestly, it looks like we're about to watch what happens in his own natural habitat here. You know what, bro? I honestly don't want to live on this planet anymore. Elon Musk, if you somehow happen to see this video right now, I swear to God, bro, I am willing to sign up. You can ship my ass out to Mars anytime you'd like. Just please get me the fuck away from here, man. Now, honestly, bro, I would never encourage bullying. However, I think maybe a little bit of bullying might have helped in this situation right here. I get that Pickle Rick was like a big meme back in 2016. However, literally, who watches these videos and thinks it's either entertaining or funny? Like, you've honestly got to be under the age of 14 if you're even going to consider watching a video like this. I get that people are going to do this, one, for clout, and two, because it's a challenge. Challenge. However, like, if you're gonna do it, could you at least fucking make it a little bit funny? If you're gonna go through all this effort just to produce, like, some shit-stained video like this, I mean, you're honest to God just wasting your fucking life at this point. Go get some goddamn pussy, you fucking loser. And guys, before we end off today's video, it's Sunday for crying out loud. That means we need to crown this week's green penis. This week's green peen is gonna be going out to the homie deserve who says, I'll help you make Unicorn Island a parking lot. I mean, just the thought of a unicorn in my sight, that shit just fucking pisses me off. Anyways, congratulations to you, Deserve. You are this week's green penis. As always, if you would like to become a green dick yourself, all you have to do, fellas, is leave a funny comment down in the comment section below. And maybe, just maybe, next Sunday, I'll pick you 
to earn this prestigious once in a lifetime award and guys with all that being said that's gonna be it for today's video thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you would like to support the channel consider becoming a member today but more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time later All right, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas have you guys ever been with a hot girl that's putting out in the bedroom she's cooking she's cleaning and maybe she doesn't talk too much all right susan i'm just kidding i'm kidding calm down susan god damn anyways today we're going to be taking a look at the world's luckiest man now i know some of you might be wondering right now probably looking like this yo doc what does this guy have does he have a lot of money does he have a big snake in his pants what is it, Doc? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Well, holy f Jimmy. Calm the f down, bro. I will tell you. God damn. Anyways, as you guys can see on screen, this is actually his girlfriend. And all I can say, bro, is God damn, that is a lucky man right there. In reality, though, there's a lot of dudes out there that have a hot girlfriend. Like, I, I don't get it. What makes this guy so special? Well, Jimmy, I'm glad you asked. Let's take a little look. You want to know how I make my man happy? I let him play with my mom. Yeah. I'm that kind of way. All right, so there's a couple things I want to highlight in the video we just watched right there. First off, her mom is pretty fucking hot as well, all right? At least in my opinion. Bro, you guys know this by now. I am a man of the goddamn MILFs. And in fact, I actually support them very heavily. And you yourself can support the MILFs with me by leaving a that like on this video right now when we take a look at the two women in that video we just watched i think we can all agree bro they're pretty up there in the scale of hotness like i don't think there's a lot of dudes watching this video right now that wouldn't be willing to use their one free smash card and if that is the case for you well then um i'm sorry guys you'll have to give me just a second i think jimmy said he wants to say something right quick you know what doc I, if i had the opportunity I wouldn't fuck either of those girls, you know that? Uh, well, Jimmy, why not? I mean, what seems to be the issue here? You know what, Doc? You know what the issue is, man? You know what the issue is? Is that they're not pretty, they're ugly, and I don't like them. Jimmy, will you just shut the fuck up and let me get on with my goddamn video by now? Guys, if you happen to be a Jimmy here, either you're into 400-pound BBWs or you're gay, bro. Get it figured out, man. It's not my problem. <laughs> it's not my goddamn problem. But anyways, the point that I was trying to make before I was so rudely interrupted is that when I saw these two women, I really expected, you know, like a goddamn Arnold Schwarzenegger. Someone that's like fucking rich, like and maybe even a Dan Bilzerian. And I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't want to discredit this dude completely but i feel like i could find this guy at any local vape shop if i really wanted to either way if these videos are real you know i got mad respect for this dude right here he's living the life that every man wishes he was living you know however with that being said i i really doubt that these videos are 100 legitimate in fact, this girl's TikTok is actually dedicated to showing her man off with a bunch of different females that she lets him sleep with. Now, I understand that swinging, that's a big thing, bro. There's a lot of people that like to swing out there. They like to change up their multiple sex partners, but at the same time, like, they want to come home to one partner and just live a happy fucking life. So I understand that it absolutely could be real. However, I just, I don't know of a lot of people that are comfortable allowing their husband to sleep with with their mom now it actually doesn't stop there she has another video on her channel where the guy walks into the kitchen he gives his girlfriend a kiss and says something along the lines of like hey honey i'm leaving for work have a good rest of your day and she points to the girl next to her washing some dishes and says aren't you gonna kiss my sister goodbye let's take a look at that bye baby okay. um don't forget to kiss my sister bye. oh that's right oh. bye yeah. I mean, call me crazy, bro, but this is the video that really crossed the line for me. Like, obviously, I support kissing some fucking hot moms. I'll support that all goddamn day. But when it comes to kissing me and then kissing my sister, I mean, I get, you know, it could be a step sis, but like, I, I don't really know, man. I just, I, I don't know about this situation here. Either these videos gotta be staged or there is just one giant fucking family tree of incest going on here. I mean, if that's the case, bro, it honestly wouldn't fucking surprise me if this is actually her brother. But anyways, you guys will have to let me know 
know down in the comments section below whether you believe these videos are fake or if they're actually real. Like I said, I want to believe that they are indeed fake and staged. Like according to this girl's account, this guy right here is fucking every pussy in that goddamn house. But then again, the videos are posted on TikTok, and we all know that there's a bunch of weird fucks out there that really get down to this kind of stuff. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you, uh... If you, oh, what's, the, oh, oh, yeah, if you want to support the goddamn MILFs with me. And I just simply couldn't imagine not supporting the MILFs, you know? But anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Later. Alright, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video fellas today we're going to be talking about the top five underrated OnlyFans models of 2021 as most of you probably know by now i am a gynecologist i really like to support my patients and even more than that i really like to support women Today I woke up in just a fantastic mood for some reason, and I don't know, maybe it's because it's Pride Month, but all I can say is I am excited to make this video for you guys. And also, I'm a really big supporter of MILFs around here, so if you want to support the MILFs with me, hop on the goddamn train, man, subscribe to the channel, and leave a like on the video by now. Now guys, before we actually get into the models here, alright, I know there's gonna be a Jimmy out there, like, Come on, Doc. Come on, man. Show us their boobs, bro. We just want to see their pussy. Jimmy, I get it, bro. Okay, you want to see some goddamn tits and some ass. Like, bro, I do too. But last time I did that and I was a little bit on the edgy side, Susan didn't like that. She actually age-restricted my video and demonetized it. So that was awfully nice of Susan. And one last thing is that beauty is subjective. A girl that I may think is really hot, for instance, I like girls that have big tits. You may not like that, bro, okay? You might like flat-chested bitches, and that's all right with you, bro. That's perfectly fine. And also, the word underrated is kind of vague, so there's not like an exact scale of what could be considered underrated on here. So essentially, I just tried to choose five different models that are fairly successful, and they have a little bit of a following, but nothing too crazy. And guys, without wasting any more goddamn time, let's get into the video. Anyway, starting us off here in the number five spot is actually going to be going out to Optic Jewel. For those of you little shits watching the video right now, you might not know who she is. Anyways, she's best known for showing her titties on OnlyFans now, but back in the day, she was actually pretty goddamn good at quickscoping people. I mean, I guess that's pretty obvious because she was actually able to make it in Optic. However, back then, like, girls were not really playing video games. Nowadays, girls like to play games so they can get clout, they can get followers, and all they have to do is show a little bit of cleavage. So she was definitely one of the first girls to ever Ever break that stigma of girls don't play video games I gotta give her props for that but I mean like why would you practice video games for eight hours a day when you can just work like an hour a day and just post a picture of your pussy online because of her being in optic she is a little bit more on the popular side she has 200,000 followers on Twitter and she actually has the most expensive only fans on my list today at $20 a month before we move on though, I do want to mention the pictures I showed of Jewel on screen. These are the cream of the crop, fellas, alright? These are by far the two best pictures I found of her. Most of the pictures that you'll find on her Twitter account are nowhere near these two in terms of quality. But anyways, moving on to our number four spot, this is going to go out to Helena Marie. For those of you homies out there that like girls with some melanin in their skin, Helena is the one for you. Honestly, I don't have much to say about Helena because, I mean, she's pretty damn near perfect, bro. She's got just about every asset that a dude could ever wish for. However, the main reason that I'm giving her the number four spot is because she actually has almost a million followers on Twitter. Now, I know some of you are thinking like, Doc, how can she be underrated if she has a million followers? Look, dude, I don't want to accuse her of buying followers or anything like that, but most of her tweets get like 300 likes on them. Every now and then she'll have a couple that pop off and, you know, might get like two or three thousand. Either way, what I'm trying to say is that her follower count doesn't really reflect the amount of interactions that her Twitter page gets. 
which therefore is going to make her less known than other models. However, I will say she actually has the cheapest OnlyFans on our list today, coming in at $6. Anyways, coming in on our list at the number three spot is going to be Emma Magnolia. I'm not even going to beat around the bush here, bro. Emma is pretty goddamn hot. And I also got to give her props. She is a fucking grinder. She's posting nudes on her Twitter every single day. I could literally only imagine what her OnlyFans looks like. Anyways, Emma has 80,000 followers on Twitter and her OnlyFans is going for about $7 currently. I know there's some dudes out there that don't like redheads and they especially don't like girls with tattoos. All I'm saying though, dude, is you get that one free smash card from the greatest doctor of all time, which is actually me, and you get this look right here, ain't no shot in hell you gonna say no to that. All right, well, I feel like a little bit of a dumbass here, fellas. Uh, Emma's main account actually has 360,000 followers. I would still say that she's underrated, though, because when it comes to OnlyFans models, like, we always hear about the Jim Wolfies and the Bella Thorns. Personally, I've just never heard someone else mention her name before. So, therefore, she's going on my underrated list at the number three spot. Anyways, with that being said, our number two spot is going to be going out to Tori Torres. Tori only has about 15,000 followers on Twitter, which is actually pretty shocking because... I'm not gonna lie, she's got some pretty goddamn good pictures on here. And her OnlyFans is currently going for $9. Tori pretty much has all the assets that a man could want. Cause I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I see these girls on the internet and their boobs are just like way too goddamn big for their bodies. It just doesn't look proportionally right to me and I find that unattractive. However, Tori here seems to have the right amount of curves in the right amount of places. Unfortunately, I can't really show you guys her best pictures because, uh, well, she's fucking naked in all of them, so that's pretty hard to cover up. And the naked ones that I do show on screen, I have to do a lot of covering up, which, I mean, no one fucking likes that. But anyways, Tori's a fucking grinder, and you can tell that she puts a lot of work into her content. I mean, it's also pretty crazy to think, you know, that, like, I'm a small content creator, but I just really make, like, shit post videos on the internet. And Tori's in that same situation as me, but it just involves, like, showing your booty hole and shit like that. Anyways, moving on here, our final spot on the list is gonna be going out to Faith Marone. I actually used a picture of Faith in one of my thumbnails a couple days ago, and I seen some of you guys commenting like, Yo, Doc, who is that in the thumbnail? Well, for those of you that were asking me who the girl in the thumbnail was, well, here she is. Anyways, Faith only has 26,000 followers on her Twitter account, which is actually pretty fucking shocking, considering that she's like every dude's dream girl. I mean, she's literally a fucking hot blonde with a fat fucking ass. I would honestly say Faith is better looking than 95% of the actresses in the adult industry. For those of you that may be interested, currently her OnlyFans is going for $15 a month. All I'm saying, bro, is that if Faith comes in my doctor's office, she's getting a free exam that day. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to complete our list for the top five underrated OnlyFans models for this year. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments section below which model was your favorite from today's list. Anyways, for those fucking horny unicorns out there right now that are begging for me to put nudes in my videos, obviously I can't do that, but what I can do is put their link in the description so you guys can go to their Twitter accounts. I actually can't put their OnlyFans accounts in the description anymore because last time I did it, I got a community guideline strike, so uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be doing that again. But if you do want to go check out their Twitter accounts where they all post nudes anyways, that will be linked in the description below. And guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Damn, baloney. Damn. Oh, nice. nice job. 13 Jeez. kills? Yes, sir. Holy crap. I couldn't. I, I was getting my ass fucking blasted. Oh, good. Like, it must be sore for me to sit down tomorrow after this one. <laughs>what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas it's summertime all right it's starting to get a little bit hot out there i want to teach you how to keep your vag healthy all summer long 
Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, but Doc, I don't even have a vag, bro. Why would I want to watch this video? Well, first off, I know there's about 8% of you watching this video right this second, and odds are you have a vagina in your pants. If that is you, you know, shout out to you. I appreciate the women that watch my videos. I feel like you gotta be a bad mamma jamma to watch my shit too, bro. Like, ain't no chance some charming ultra soft bitch up here watching my kind of vids. And the second reason you may want to watch this video is because if you don't have a vagina in your pants, the odds are, bro, you like sticking your wiener inside of them. And I don't know about you guys, but at least for me, I don't want my wiener inside any sort of vagina that's like fucking infected, bacteria driven driven, blue waffle, stank ass, bitch fucking filled, pussy licking, okay, I don't even know where I'm going with this at this point. Look guys, all I'm saying is that this is the video of the goddamn century right here, okay? As most of you know, I have a very well-established credibility. I like to stay pretty humble when it comes to things like this, but I'm basically the greatest fucking doctor to ever walk the face of this goddamn earth, all right? As most of you know, I'm the best goddamn gynecologist in my state, and I'm currently ranked third nationally. With that being said, the other day I was browsing Twitter, and I came across an article by Teen Vogue that said how to keep your vagina healthy all summer long. Keep your vag healthy even at the beach. So I got together with my good friend, Dr. Jen Gunter, who is also one of the best goddamn gynecologists you could ever imagine. And we thought it'd be a good idea to go through this article and debunk any sort of claims, or I should say bullshit claims that Teen Vogue tries to make here. All right, before we dive too far into this article, I just quickly want to mention that maybe your smelly hole has become like really fucking crusty all of a sudden. You don't know if it's worth fixing, and I'm here to tell you today that a crusty ass vagina is no different than starting an old car that hasn't been driven in a long time, all right? All you gotta do is fire that bad boy up, blow the fucking cobwebs out of that sucker, and it's go time. Anyways, the four main topics we're going to be talking about today to help you prevent that fucking blue waffle is water, sunshine, sand, and sweat. While you might think there's little difference in the TLC she gets every other season, OBGYNs note that summer is especially important to pay attention to any symptoms, changes, and funkiness you might notice south of the border, it says. It goes on to explain how wet bathing suits, going camping or hiking, sunbathing naked, mmm, my fave, Sand, outdoor workouts, frequent travel, and summer loving can all play havoc with vaginal health. Well, after reading from that article, I spoke with my partner, Dr. Jin, and you know, we, we don't really agree with everything the article is stating there. But before we explain why, I thought it would be an appropriate time to take a little joke break. I just want you guys to know that this joke did indeed come from a whammon herself. So that means you're probably not going to laugh, but you know what? Fuck it. I'll just read it anyways. Velda says, wait, I need a summer vagina now. I didn't know I was supposed to be switching them out with the seasons. I just can't keep up with fashion. Oh my God. Velda. Oh my God. Please, for the love of God, do not ever try to do that again. Do you fucking understand me here, Velda? You know what? I swear to God, next time this bitch comes up in my office, I'm charging her double just for the fuck of it. You know what, guys? I actually apologize for that. That that joke was beyond fucking dumb, all right? I don't even know why I said that. But anyways, moving on with the article here, it says, But it's not just the headline, since change to how to keep your vagina healthy all summer, which people have found tricky. Dr. Jen Gunter, who has debunked health advice, mostly vaginal, points out a huge problem. Vaginal neglect in the summer is not a thing. Vaginas function quite well in all seasons. Mm-hmm. Dr. Jen, go ahead and preach, girl. Really. I run a clinic for vulvovaginal disorders, and we are no busier when it is hot, she wrote on her blog. The only possible issue that women might have during the summer months is with their vulva, if they start a new hair removal technique or do more hair removal. This can lead to ingrown hairs, injuries, and an increased risk of STIs. In a response to the advice given by Teen Vogue, Dr. Gunter has the following. Number one, a vagina cannot dry out because of the heat. I mean, I can't even. Haha, <laughs> uh, yeah, me either, Dr. Gunther. I can't even with these fucking idiots nowadays. And then uh, she also said, a wet bathing suit cannot change your vaginal pH. The vaginal pH is maintained by estrogen, lactobacilli, good bacteria, and glycogen, a stored sugar that comes from the surface of epithelial cells of the vagina. None of these are... Why do we gotta put fucking periods after everything? But anyways, none of these are affected by a wet bathing suit. Number three, don't put wipes in your vagina, okay? That's right, ladies. 
I know you get confused sometimes, but the wipes are meant for wiping your shit-stained ass. Number four, I wouldn't spray my underwear with bug spray. Well, I would like to think that that one's a given, but then again, we have people pouring alcohol in their eyeballs. And number five, it's not highly unlikely that you will sunburn your vagina. It is impossible. You hear that, fellas? Next time your girl says, no, nah, babe, I don't want to fuck right now. My, my pussy kind of hurts because I got a sunburn on it. Now you can call her the fuck out for that. But the final point that my good friend Dr. Gunter says, number six, if you get some sand vaginally, yes, it will come out on its own, and a quick rinse in the shower or bath should be good enough to get it off your skin. So there you go. You know what? Thank you for that, dog. Thank you for that. That, that was very well put together, and I, I must say, uh, kind of disappointed. I didn't see my name anywhere on this article. I'm uh, low-key kind of pissed, you know, Dr. Gunner. I, I don't really fucking appreciate you taking all of my goddamn credit here. But then again, I beat her at the Gyno Olympics this year, so she's probably still just fucking butthurt about that. Anyways, fellas, I'm sure you were dying on the inside just wondering how to keep your vagina healthy this summer, and all I can say, bro, is that I'm glad you came to the right place. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today. But more importantly, fellas, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video if you want to support the MILFs with me. And I will catch you guys next time. Later. Hey, hey. First thing I said to you is, how does it feel to suck dick? dick. So now I ask again. again. How does it feel to suck dick? dick? How does my AIDS infected cum taste, you fucking- What are you about to cry at here? Yeah, shut up. One fucking <laughs> earthquake, your whole island goes under good. <laughs> Punch in the air. Dude, come on. I got some nice snipes, too. Man. Tim, I'm really glad you don't put any game audio on your videos because, like, all your commentary would just be drowned out by you whining. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs>what's going on everyone and welcome back to another video today fellas i've been in a bad mood all freaking day all right let me explain why first off i wake up in the morning and then i get on my phone and i see one of those gender reveal parties and i'm sure most of you know what i'm referring to but if you don't essentially it's when a man sticks his penis and so uh, oh wait no that's a different thing oh yeah so this is after the penis sticking they decide to show off like what gender the baby's gonna be basically the mom and dad will invite some friends and family over they'll have a little get together they'll eat some shitty finger foods and then when they're done with that they're gonna reveal the gender of the baby now the new thing in this day and age seems to be smoke bombs now these smoke bombs bust on impact some dudes like to pretend they're baseball superstars like they're still in in high school nowadays and they'll hit these then a pink cloud will burst out in front of the baseball bat or even sometimes dudes like to shoot it like it's a basketball and they're supposed to drain it and then it hits the ground and when it hits the ground it's supposed to splatter and you know a giant cloud of whatever color comes out but you see dude that's the issue right there man i went to the gender reveal smoke bomb website and it turns out they only offer two colors pink and blue now, if you put two and two together here, you do an E equals MC squared with the Pythagorean theorem, you will find out that this equates to two genders only when there is indeed 57 goddamn genders nowadays. Now, the thing that really fucking pisses me off here is that all these goddamn pussies will only acknowledge two genders, right? I mean, that's bad enough, bro, especially during fucking Pride Month. Come on, man. It's fucking June. Now, they also seem to be forgetting one of the most important pieces to the puzzle here, and that is gender fluidity is a goddamn thing. What if you throw down the smoke bomb at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and at 7 p.m., that fucking bitch-ass baby decides, hey, I don't want to be that gender anymore. What are you going to fucking do about that, Emily, huh? I guarantee you didn't buy two smoke bombs. At least in my mind, that makes you a hater of the goddamn LGBTQWTRX72YY double quick scope 
420 every day plus community. You fucking suck, Emily, and your shitty ass gender reveal should have never been done. I mean, like, dude, come on. Could these companies at least show a little bit of goddamn respect here and give us a variety of colors? Like, let's say, for instance, my son wants to identify as New Troyce? New Troisis? Anyways, whatever the fuck that thing is and whatever the fuck that thing means, I'll, that's what my son wants to be that day. Like, I think that my new choice child should be represented by the color yellow. Well, guess fucking what, man? Take a guess. I can't even buy a goddamn yellow. All right, fellas, I'm done putting on this fake fucking character. I, I can only take so much goddamn bullshit, and I feel like my limit has been reached. Like, for those of you that believe there's more than two genders, do you realize how fucking stupid you sound? Like, here, let me give you another example, all right? Let's say one day, the father of the child spends 90 seconds in bed doing his part, and then the mother spends nine months going through, you know, painful childbirth and everything like that, just for the little baby girl to come out. Let's say this thing, you know, it has a vagina, right? It's a little baby girl. And the doctor's like, oh my god, this baby's so cute, I'm gonna go put female down on the birth certificate. And then the mother says something to the extent of, um, doc, why are, why are you doing this? That. It's not a female and the doctor says well sure it is it doesn't have a fucking dick on it But doc I carried this baby inside of me for nine months I feel like I know it best and and right before it came out of my vagina it, it said something to me It said uh I, I want to identify as a trans person and then the doc turns around and asks the mother the most important question of the whole fucking day And he says ma'am will that be trans or trans with the asterisk like literally what the fuck could that asterisk even mean? This whole mindset that, like, there's a thousand different genders out there is literally just a fucking mental illness at this point. If that is you, I, I don't hate you, but I want you to know that you need to get some goddamn help. I don't know if you need to be prescribed, like, some fucking heavy drugs or if you just simply need to be bullied. Look, I don't know, okay? Each situation could be different. But there is one thing that I do know, and it's the fact that if you don't take care of your goddamn children, they're gonna turn out to be 19 years old sucking on a goddamn binky, while at the same time, this person is legally allowed to vote and probably drive. All right, that's it. I'm going to go skydiving without a parachute. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. I really do appreciate everyone watching the video, though. It was a nice time, but uh, I think my time to go is go. But anyways, there you guys have it. Next time you go to one of those gender reveal parties, and maybe you have a family member there that you don't fucking like, and you just want to start some beef with, at least you have a nice little conversation starter to make the room a little awkward. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, consider becoming a member today but more importantly fellas be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new leave a like on the video if you want to support the milfs with me and i will catch you guys next time later